Hey everyone, this is Atali Toka, and, and right now you're probably wondering why I ha have a PSP emulator up. Well, today we're going to be doing something a little different, so let's boot up a game. Alright, so you're probably wondering why I have decided to do, do a Dragon Ball Z game for this video. Well, it's because today is May 9th, and there's been a bit of a thing going around on Twitter with Piccolo Day okay, okay, on May 9th. And so I decided that it would be fun I'm gonna do a little something based around that. So we're going to have infinite time and I'm really not good at video games so I'm going to go with easy. I don't care if you make fun of me. And we're going to be going with Piccolo. This will be fun. And our first opponent is Adult Gohan. Okay. Not too bad. I actually really like how Piccolo plays. And I like his fight style with the stretching moves. It actually kind of reminds me of Dawson. From Street Fighter. Oh boy. I forgot all about this tech. Alright. We'll just power up. I tried to do it. We'll, we'll rush this. God. Too far away. All right, that connected. You can tell I'm bad at this game because I'm doing the same thing most of the time. And so, so you can see. Hmm. We've got specials. And they're done with a single movement. It's kind of Smash Brothers style. Well, well you have to. Hit the directional button and the circle button at the same time to do a special. Well, and if the timing is a little well off, it's not going to work. The square button is your rapid attack, and the triangle button is your strong attack. X is block, circle is key blast. And you've got the L button for charging, and the R button. Can kind of expend some energy to build up power. Or and to go into a more powered up form. form that's down in circle. And Trunks is actually putting up a pretty good fight here. 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 
the reason I'm using an emulator for this is, is because is, is, is you can't really record from on a PS3 that isn't modded, and, and even if my PSP was modded, it's kind of broken. And it, yeah, it it fell off a windowsill all, and broke. Which really sucks. Because I have a whole bunch of games for the PSP. Which I pretty much can't play anymore. And the PSP did actually have, have some of my favorites. And, and I bet you guys got a real kick out of that in the special beam cannon. Piccolo's those, those, those iconic attacks from the show. Not that easy. Oh boy. Yeah. Uh, the AI it. can get a little aggressive in this game. Right, here we go. That's good. Uh, uh, you want to try the talent. Challenge uh, is definitely key in your fighting games. Uh, oh boy. Crohn is giving me a little bit of trouble. So good. Wow, I'm really doing a number on him. Uh, look at how much more health I have from, from compared to him. This was actually a pretty good round. Time to power up and do a special beam can. That wasn't a special beam can, was it? I could barely see it. Who's sworn before? Sure, I was doing a special beam can. Oh! This powered up form has a completely different, different up circle move. I don't know all the attacks. It's been so long since I watched Dragon Ball Z. And we're fighting Frieza. Anybody remember when, when Frieza was voiced by a woman? Yeah, this was back in the day of, of, of the classic dub of Dragon Ball Z, where Linda Yun voiced Frieza. And, uh, and now he's voiced by, by Chris Ayers. And it's a pretty good performance from him, actually. 
Mm. Mm, but Lynn the Young's performance is free, but is what I grew up with. That's just what I remember. And so, well, hearing Chris Ayers as Frieza for the first time just felt really weird for me. Not that easy. I mean, I'm kind of curious to know oh, what everyone else thinks of that. Ah! Big Super didn't connect. I think I can try to super again. Ah, missed again. Oh well. This is, this is actually getting to be a pretty intense match. Frieza said, nope. Nope. No Russian strike for you. Uh-oh, he's powered up. Okay, managed to beat him. Still at it. Freaking sounds. And, and I do not know if the microphone is picking them up. Uh oh. I'm actually losing against this, this freaking claw. Okay. Try to turn tables here. Oh, that dealt, dealt a lot of damage. And the AI took, took the first round. At it. Round two. It's okay. We can turn this around. Alright, got him with the super. Okay, not too bad. I actually like this game because it has a surprising amount of depth. And it actually feels like a processor to the first Sony game on PS3. I don't know about anyone else, but I actually really like that game. I mean, yeah, Barcelona didn't have the Boo Saga, and there's really no excuse for that, but, but, but the combat was tight, and there were some fun things it did with the story mode that it did have. Um, in Barcelona, there were, there were moments where you could, could actually play as the villains in, in, in scenes where they had the limelight. Light, or where, where they killed off, off one of the big heroic characters. It's like you could play as Napa when, when he was, was knocking the Z Warriors around and, and, and killing off, off 
like Yamcha uh, and Tien and, and Piccolo. And you could also play you know, Cell and kick Tien's butt. But I think it was. It was yeah, first one and a half fight. I think it's Cell versus Tien in story mode. And, and it actually included all of Frieza's forms up to that point. I mean, because, remember, this was long before all this stuff with, with, with Dragon Ball Super and the movie Resurrection F. So the final form really was his final form right at that point. I mean, there was no Golden Frieza. It was simpler times. Okay. If you actually hit R and then hit the triangle, you can, you can do a move to stun your opponent, and that's really good. Or if you need to deal some um, um, damage real quick. Finding tech in this game proved to be a lot of fun. And I'm not kidding. Still have some left. Round two. Five. There's a lot you can do in, in, in combat in this game. All right. Oh, she blocked our super. She kicked us around a little. Ah, she heals with her energy field. Ah. Does Android 18 actually have to destruct the disc in the show? I don't know. I kind of think of it. Maybe that's the power blitz move that Gene 17 had. In, in the Budokai games on PS2. Let the games begin. Oh hey, we're fighting Cell. Round one, Cell is an awesome villain. Think you can defeat me? At some point, I need to actually sit down and, and, and actually watch Dragon Ball Z again. Reacquaint myself with, with everything in it. Just because, because this game in particular is just so much fun. Ah. Okay, note to self. Don't try the special beam cannon up close. It's easily punishable. Oh, now he's actually safe. Okay. Go home. Round two. Round two. Power up and this big time super. No 
Okay. Can I cheat for, for defaulting to that? Maybe. Nah. He blocked it this time. I can't rely on it again. That wasn't too much trouble. Alright, now we're up against Vegeta. I like them. Okay. Power up. Big time super. Ah, he dodged it. Countered with a Gallop Gun. The 3D plane really does make all the difference. Maybe I should actually try to get good at sidestepping. And so I'm not hit by, by these big projectile attacks. Super Saiyan. Uh, he blocked the super, and now he's punishing me. Uh-oh. Vegeta has taken the first round. Okay, power up. Big time super, just as he goes Super Saiyan, and he blocks it and punishes. Okay, here we go. Ah, uh, too soon. Too soon. I know what I should do. I should block. Like, I should actually think to block. I'm probably way too used to the 2D fighters that have blocking us going back. Even though I first got into fire, I first got into fighting games with Soul Calibur 2, and that game has a block button, so I really have no excuse. Oh, that didn't work. The big time super is not working out for me. Not anymore. Oh crap. I forgot that was a close range attack. Not gonna do me much good from long range. So I managed to get him with a destructive wave. Alright. Last round. This one will decide the champion. Time to power up. And now we'll do our big time suit. Oh, hey, it finally connected. Now we take off more than half his health. And he did an instant transmission to counter me. Uh-oh. 
Nice. Still have some left. I am literally at the edge of my seat with this. Ooh! Up against Kid Boo. Who would the last, last big villain one that Goku and Vegeta fought uh, in Dragon Ball Z? Sidestepping is it's up or down, I want to end X. I was thinking it would be double tap up or down. Oh no, I can attack it. Alright, Big Time Super is going to take him down. Still have some left. Can you tell I haven't watched Dragon Ball in a while? Oh, special bean cannon missed. Power up. And it doesn't connect. I'll just try it again, and it doesn't connect. Let's try this. That works, and he already performed his special. All right, he's down. Still at it. I do actually really like this game. Oh, we're going up against Team Gohan now. Round one. Uh oh. He's going Super Saiyan 2. That's bad. Big time Super. I'm gonna turn this around. I knocked him out of Super Saiyan form. And I beat him. Still at it. And I was going to try to stun him. Turned that that didn't work. Okay, we're going to do a big time super, and he dodged it. Big time super, let's go. Going Super Saiyan 2. He's 
that move is just too really cool. Okay. Just need to get one good hit in. And I did it! Still at it. Alright. That is just good enough for me, and we get to see Piccolo's ending. Piccolo is just going to go visit his people then. That doesn't sound like too bad of an idea. Well. Better get used to tough work, Goku. It's not easy being the guardian of the earth. <laughs> that is so funny. Piccolo doesn't even ask Goku's permission before he throws all the heavy work on him. <laughs> so, these are the credits. Kind of a neat little animation with Goku running. Into this big round on green earth. And we get to look at the names of all the people who worked on this game. Alright. I don't really think we need to just watch this all, all the time. I'm just going to skip the rest of the credits. It's probably going to get really boring if I don't. And there's really not much available in the shop. I can just show you, just so you get a general idea. I'm going go into here, in the shop. It's just cosmetic stuff for, or your profile card for network fouls, which, which I'm really not going to use. It's because the PSP emulator doesn't have online, I don't think. And, and, and the PSP, he, he goes multiplayer through ad hoc, which is wireless local multiplayer. I don't know if that uh, functionality is incorporated into the emulator, or, or I'd be surprised if it was. So I think we're just going to call, call it it here. So until next time, I'm Atalia Toka, and I will see you all later.